Do wolves actually pose as much of a threat as people believe? Yes, in the majority of cases, thus, nobody anticipated the incredible occurrence that occurred when the tiny child found himself encircled by three wild wolves. It's common knowledge when discussing wolves that they are among the most dangerous predators in the wild, and it makes sense, they are particularly formidable due to their big size, strong fangs, and teamwork skills. Because of this, many people think that they are not like their cherished pet dogs at all, believing them to be excessively aggressive and incapable of feeling empathy, is this always the case, though I should warn you right away that this is a fictional account and that it is not based on fact before I get into the meat of the matter, this doesn't change the essence of the story, which is one of friendship and love that has no bounds, George, a small child, was raised near the edge of a forest, he loved his home and its surrounds with all of his heart, even though it frequently got quite cold where he resided, to him, it was the ideal place to be, there is no doubt that this was the best environment for him to grow up, George's love of the natural world only deepened as he grew older, and his childhood home at the edge of the woodland was bequeathed to him following the death of his parents. George realized he would never be able to sell the house since he had so many memories in it and because of its stunning setting, so he decided to move in. He soon fell in love with May, a woman he met not long after, George quickly asked May to marry him, and they quickly became engaged, the pair first believed that delaying marriage would allow them to save money for a wedding, but plans don't always work out as expected, May found out she was expecting a baby soon after she got engaged, the pair made the decision to proceed with their wedding in light of this new information, Thomas, the couple's son, was born nine months later, George and May were ecstatic about the small life they had brought into the world and adored Thomas with all of their hearts, like his father, Thomas was surrounded by nature growing up, and he quickly became enamored with the world's natural treasures, the young boy's love of the wild and everything in it deepened as he got older, regrettably, his love of the natural world was not shared by everyone, he was the odd child in the group, he didn't have any pals as a result, so he entertained himself by using his Imagination, the father of the boy would go into the woods first thing every morning to gather fuel for the home, however, what appeared to be a typical day for the young child quickly evolved into something much more, as per his customary routine, George went into the woods to get as much firewood as he could for his family, the man was just wrapping up his daily routine, carrying an armful of wood. During the severe winter when he heard an odd sound, it like the whining of a small dog, George followed the sound deeper into the forest out of curiosity about what it might be, and what he discovered devastated him, there was a juvenile wolf that had been caught in a bear trap, amidst the woods and recently fallen snow, the wolf was critically hurt and in critical need of medical attention, however, George was afraid to approach it too closely for fear that it would try to attack him because it was still a wild animal. The fact that the animal appeared to have been trapped in the trap for a minimum of one day did not lessen its hazard level, after observing the dog for a short while, George became even more concerned about something he saw, the wolf turned out to be female, and she was obviously nursing, which meant that she had pups nearby who had been abandoned on their own, George, fearing for the safety of the baby wolf, went into the woods to see where the babies could be, eventually, he came upon a tiny cave where the mother wolf had obviously dug a den, but what he discovered there devastated him, three young wolf cubs were inside the den, but two of them had frozen to death in the night since their mother had not been able to return to them, the lone survivor was extremely hungry and freezing, George went back to the mother wolf after swiftly picking up the cub, in order to feed and warm up, he put the baby animal near to his mother, with the knowledge that he had to provide some assistance to the wolves, George returned home with his stack of firewood and collected some food and water to provide to the creatures in need, however, it was already too late, when George got back to the wolves, he saw that the mother dog had died from her wounds, snuggled up to her lone surviving cub, she had died, the father was heartbroken to see the newborn wolf still alive, but he was also relieved, George decided to bring him home with him since he knew he wouldn't last very long on his own, even though the cub was still very young, he would undoubtedly become his son's best friend, the man was accurate, it filled Thomas with immense delight to meet the young wolf although the entire family treated the puppy as though it were one of their own, Thomas was the one who felt the closest connection to him, the young child chose to call his new companion Aaron, and the two of them would play and explore the neighboring forests, although they had a very close bond, 
Aaron's inherent instincts were indisputable since he was still a wild animal, Aaron's size. Increased as he grew, and eventually the family constructed him a tiny hut outside so he could sleep when he was too big to fit inside the house, the wolf appeared to be trying to communicate with Thomas one evening when he bid his pal good night, but Thomas was not understanding, when the family went outside to greet Aaron the following morning, they found him missing. The family realized what had happened as the hours went by and the wolf was still nowhere to be found, Aaron fled to live like a regular wolf because, being a wild animal, he was not designed to dwell in a house like a tamed dog when his best friend passed away, Thomas was distraught, his parents purchased him a puppy in an attempt to lift his spirits, but even though the child cherished the small animal, Aaron would never be replaced, after a few years, Thomas was practically an adult as he grew older. He frequently assisted his father by doing some of his household duties, such gathering firewood, Thomas was doing. Just that one day in the woods, just as he was heading home, a massive wolf materialized in front of him, despite his best efforts to stay composed, the child looked around, there were two more wolves on either side of him, and he realized he was stuck, fear had paralyzed Thomas, the dogs began to come over to the young man, Thomas reacted by collapsing to the ground believing that this was his last chance. The wolves eventually got to the point where Thomas could hear their breathing, fearful. Of what was ahead, he gazed into the eyes of the dogs, then, a fourth wolf emerged from the trees, roaring menacingly, worsening the situation, with the intention of dying quickly, Thomas began to pray, however, the fourth wolf stopped roaring as it approached and began to wag its tail, the young man found this confusing, why was the apparently vicious predator shaking its tail at him with such joy, upon closer inspection? Thomas made a startling discovery, Aaron, his childhood buddy, was the fourth wolf, the wolf just looked away as the young man cautiously extended his hand to try to pet it, even though they were friends, Aaron had become accustomed to the environment and the life of a true wolf since he was still a wild animal, even more so than before, the youngster remained uninjured as the wolf departed, bringing his pack with him. Partly because he was pleased to be alive and partly because he was glad to have met his best friend one final time, Thomas burst into tears. Following this experience, Thomas packed up his firewood and headed back home. He was glad to hear that his best buddy was living a good life, even though it made him sad that he would not see Aaron again that concludes the first narrative, let's see another one that is comparable, we can feel something for animals, that puppy was unconscious, and no one seemed to care, then an incredible thing occurred, on this bitterly cold day, people were swarming indoors to be warm, the ground was still frozen, and it was rush hour in the morning, they had to park their cars far away, and cross the square to get to their offices, with scarcely a glance at the puppy on the sidewalk, everyone was moving rapidly, only one person touched her, and that was to use his foot to shove her aside, the puppy appeared still, a few folks gave the dog a quick glance, experienced a hint of melancholy, and continued with their day, they had done everything they could or desired to accomplish, however. The majority of people chose to overlook the poor puppy that was lying in the path and didn't even try, to them, she was nothing but garbage, after parking her car, Elena wrapped herself in her cozy jacket, she was having a bad day, she was depressed and alone, she was becoming tired of the gloomy, chilly day and the fact that her family was abroad, perhaps the difference was that she was not in such a rush to get to the office, to be honest, though. She could never allow an animal in need to die because she is an enormous animal lover, she noticed something fuzzy as she continued down. The pathway, she was startled to see how small the puppy was as she approached it but alas, she had already passed away, Elena broke down in tears, overwhelmed by the sight of the small puppy frozen on the ground adding to her already melancholic mood that day, the fact that the dog had to die by herself was quite tragic, especially in light of the number of people who must have passed by, like the puppy, Elena also felt alone. She gave the dog a few pats and some words, she wanted to do something to honor her, then she removed her scarf with the intention of covering the dog's eyes, but as she extended her hand, the dog moved, just a tiny bit, which was startling, Elena jumped because it was so unexpected, remarkably, the dog was breathing when she placed her palm on its chest, though it was soft, there was breathing, it was unbelievable to her, it was like a glimmer of hope in the shadows. The dog refused to open her eyes and was as cold as a stone, Elena was aware that the dog's chances of survival were slim, 
but she still had the power to ensure the puppy had comfort and love in her final moments, when Elena got cold in the office, she would wrap a blanket around her legs from her handbag, using this, she covered the puppy tenderly, swaddling her like a baby to allow her to be held close without risk of further harm, Elena gave the dog a name, Varia. Even though she knew in her heart that the animal was most likely drawing her final breath, she promised to give. The puppy her all, she hurried to the office after picking up the dog when she came in with this small bundle all wrapped up, everyone walked over, the dog's survival surprised a lot of people, they simply disregarded her as they passed by, a few felt embarrassed and volunteered right away to cover for Elena at work so she could tend to the puppy, some told her the veterinarian's name. It made everyone feel horrible for ignoring the puppy, they gave her the all clear to go and do her best to. Look after the puppy, Elena left the office as soon as she could and took the puppy to one of the recommended veterinarians, in addition to helping Elena and Varia, her co-workers may have taken a collection to relieve their consciences, Elena was followed by an office worker to the parking lot, where she received the contribution, with the aid of this. The young girl would be able to assist the dog far more than she could have done with her own funds, the dog was going to require extensive. Attention, the veterinarian found it unbelievable that the dog was still alive, she was extremely ill and hypothermic, her organs were beginning to shut down due to her low core temperature, she was unconscious as well, she was as close to death as a sick puppy could get, so it made sense that no one realized she was still alive until Elena came close to her, in addition to initiating treatment immediately away. They performed additional testing to determine whether she was experiencing any other. Issues, the dog had a brain injury in addition to a fractured pelvis, which made her condition considerably worse than they had anticipated. Not only was she sick from being out in the cold all night, but she had apparently suffered some other kind of injury. The unfortunate dog appeared to have been repeatedly trodden on or kicked, it had clearly experienced the worst that humanity had to give. She had a team that sincerely felt they could help her get through, and now she was going to have. Some of the best, though it didn't look good, they would give it a shot, her pelvis needed surgery, but the veterinarian's practice was not set up to perform that kind of procedure, so they had to take her to a larger veterinary hospital, the dog had to be stable in order to be transferred, but they were able to arrange for a modern veterinary facility that was willing to accept her. She was given four fluids and kept in a little cage with a hot water bottle and a warming blanket, it was a long. While before she warmed up eventually, though, her body temperature began to rise, and even more startlingly, it appeared that most of her organs were functioning normally again, it was amazing, in addition, they attempted to make her comfortable by giving her painkillers and antibiotics, Elena, in particular, was quite concerned about the dog as she had become bonded to it as soon as she learned it was alive, her heart skipped a beat when the veterinarian's office called, she got really anxious. When she saw the number on the phone, Varia was still quite sick, even though she had been going to see her every day, were they calling to let us know she had left, Elena was shocked to learn that the dog had woken up when she responded, the veterinarian was in shock when they saw her with her eyes open and the team in tears, Elena hurried to the veterinarian's office to check on the puppy, skipping lunch in the process, Varia was awake, which was weird, but even worse was the way the dog appeared to respond upon seeing Elena, it was unexpected that when Elena spoke to her, her tail began to wag, she felt as though she recognized the woman's voice, even though she had been unconscious the entire time Elena was speaking to her, throughout, Elena had been comforting her and speaking to her gently, was the dog able to hear her all along, who knows. Neither Elena nor the vet team believed that she was simply happy to meet a familiar face, they examined her to determine if there was any brain damage that would render the dog's life extremely difficult or impossible but in light of everything she had gone through, she was doing remarkably well, to everyone's great relief, she began to eat a little, the dog had reached yet another milestone, she was now prepared to be taken to the veterinary facility where her surgery would be performed on the day of various surgery, Elena accompanied her. She sat with the dog and gave her a gentle head scratch, it was frightening to have gone this far and perhaps yet have a horrible outcome from the extremely risky procedure, she may still lose her puppy, as they were giving the puppy the first medication to make her drowsy before the procedure, she made sure the dog felt loved by giving her a soft kiss on the head and scratching her ears, Elena was left with no choice but to wait as the puppy was taken away, her family video phoned her to support her from a distance, 
and it was tense, she was surprised by what happened next. Even though it was good to see them, a few co-workers stopped by to see how Elena was doing and to provide encouragement and cookies. People cared for Elena and Varia, so she didn't feel as alone as she had lately. Elena was a nervous wreck throughout the hours-long procedure, the staff at the veterinary clinic was amazing, but all she wanted was for the puppy to come out of surgery and give her a cuddle. Every now and then, a few nurses would stop by to inform Elena and let her know that the puppy was doing fine, subsequently, the veterinarian emerged. They promptly confirmed Elena Varia was out and doing fine, but they needed to exercise extreme caution. The tiny dog's body has endured a great deal in a brief period of time, they had to protect her rather than try to heal her because it would be nearly impossible to keep her alive if she contracted any infections while she was recovering. Elena was extremely prone to infections, so they had to isolate her as well, so she wouldn't be able to give the dog a hug just yet. They had to keep the dog quiet and peaceful while her bones healed, they did this by keeping her alone herself in a sterile room, she was visible to Elena through the glass however, she was unable to enter, Varia noticed her a few times, and her small tail waggled, but the dog was presumably still feeling under the weather because she made no attempt to get up, it lasted barely a few days, though, as she would gaze around before dozing off again, a few days later, Elena paid them a visit. And when she looked inside the isolation cell, the dog was gone, for a brief moment, Elena panicked. Out because nobody had told her that anything had happened, then a nurse walked by and motioned for her to go outdoors, where she saw Varia moving slowly across the yard and experiencing independence for the first time, she was finally starting to feel better after being so ill. When Elena saw that the puppy was awake and moving, she was ecstatic, she ran to give her a kiss. And the dog responded by waving her tail energetically, it was clear that these two were delighted to see one another. The only thing left to wonder was Varia's plans after being discharged from the hospital. Although Elena thought Varia should have a place to rest, she thought Varia should be adopted by a family with kids, the dog still needed a space to relax because she would leap at the sound of a loud noise or someone approaching her too soon, the puppy would go home with Elena because her house was the ideal environment for it. The dog was her puppy, and she loved her too much to let her go to someone else. Despite all of Elena's efforts to aid the puppy, she had many reasons to be wary of strangers, when the time came to bring her home, the dog was recovering and didn't have any significant brain damage, it was time to let her heal properly at home. Although the dog was still a young puppy, she had already experienced a great deal, so it would take her a long time to adjust to her new life. She had been harmed by humans when she was very small, after that, no one had come to her aid and she was abandoned, following that, she had to suffer greatly while receiving medical attention, Elena never left my side, nonetheless, the puppy's lack of trust in people made sense, could Elena gain her confidence, the puppy was in a coma and nobody was paying any attention to her until Elena found her, but now, something incredible was about to happen, the puppy went home, and although quite timid, at least she was safe. And Elena was prepared to work hard to gain the puppy's complete trust Beria felt. Both excited and terrified, when the puppy was about a year old, Elena then gave an update about her to the veterinarian at the vet hospital, you won't believe that this dog, despite having a difficult beginning in life, was the same one Elena found out in the cold the first time, now, she is a stunning canine, she was an adult dog now, fully healthy save for occasional suffering from extreme cold, but otherwise doing very well, she had the confidence that only comes from being loved, and she could run and play for hours on end, she was cherished by Elena, and the dog simply enjoyed being pampered. Both Elena and the dog benefited from the change in their lives, Elena now had the companionship she much needed, and the dog got a loving home and caring owner, she even made an occasional visit to the office, where Elena made new friends and received lots of attention and food. It was a happily ever after for a puppy who had nearly lost everything, 